What's up, guys? So, day two of uh, Vlogmas. I'm going to try. I made it to day two. I can't promise I'm going to make it 28 more days. I don't know. I may. We'll see. But welcome to day two of Vlogmas. So, the rain has stopped from yesterday. The sun is actually, it looks like it's attempting to come out. Yeah, I gotta go get me something to eat. I haven't eaten yet. I gotta stop skipping breakfast because then I'll be so hungry by midday that I eat like a pig. Um, turn that light off. So, I got up this morning, made my bed, took a shower, applied for some jobs, and then yesterday, uh, Nina and Rady Eats came up in my recommended. And it, I saw that she had, um, hold on y'all, this is my son. Yeah, that was my son. He's in, um, he's in North Carolina visiting for a little while. He was talking to me about some things. I'm trying to pull up. Okay. So, what I was getting ready to say is yesterday... Nina and Rated East came up in my recommender, and I was like, okay. And the comment, the title of her video was, uh, comments on. Hi. So, I went to the comments. I didn't even look at the video, I'm going to be honest. I just, I don't know. I didn't look at the video at all. I just went right to the comments. And when I say some of them comments was going in, some of these comments was going in, I was like, dang, y'all. Now, hold, let me just say this beforehand, before I continue on what I'm about to say. By no means do I condone anything that was done with Ellen to, to, to gain, to get personal gain. I, I don't agree with that. I, I just don't. However, let's move here. So, her comments, everybody knows her comments have been disabled for a while. It's still disabled on a couple of her, her a couple of her channels. I think she has three channels, and it's disabled on all three channels. So she turned her back on, I guess, to you know, to test the waters. And I was looking at the comments. I was like, whoa. So I get why she disabled the comments. But and I and and maybe somewhere she thought, okay, I disabled the comments. Things are you know kind of calm down. And then I can turn on my comments, redirect my brand, redirect my persona on YouTube, redirect my platform, and just take it from there and go. Yeah. She turned on them comments. When I say they stung like wasp, where's the stuff that you need to don donate that stuff? You know you got that stuff. One comment was funny to me. It said, and... It was a short comment. It said, oh, you just came down this far to see, see how many people was hating on you. I was like, whoa. Like, really, guys? Like, y'all not going to let this girl grow or forget who she is or who she was at all. Again, let me just give this disclosure. I am not condoning by no means anything that was done to get personal gain with ill intent. Just say that. However, sometimes you have to let stuff go, y'all. Sometimes you just got to move on. You just got to move on. And you can't be everybody's teacher for their life lesson. Sometimes people got to learn the hard way. Like, if I tell you, listen, there's a construction site down there. They tore the road up. It's really bad. You shouldn't go down there. You might tear your car up. And you say, let me go down there and find out. And then you tear your car up. Your axle is torn up on the other end. You, so you see me on the other end and you say, girl, I should have listened to you because now I got to pay $1,600 to get my car fixed because the axle um, messed up and that caused this to mess up and that caused this to mess up and now it's costing me $1,600. Now, I tried to tell you, but you wanted to see for yourself. So seeing for yourself cost you this. Same thing. Sometimes we have to understand, you got to let people see for themselves. You got to let people learn for themselves. That's why I stopped doing 
the Nita Unrated Chronicles. To be honest, that's why I stopped. I was like, uh, I'm not going to get so self-absorbed, self-consumed, and involved in this. I'm not. I said what I had to say. I said it, and I was like, let me move on. It, I, I'm, I'm over it. I'm moving on. Yes, I am speaking of her right now, but she's the catalyst to the message. Sometimes we hold on to people's past so hard, we refuse to let them move on no matter what they do. Have you ever been a person and you figured out how to change or you grew as a person and you became different? But people in your past kept saying, yeah, I remember when you used to do this. Yeah, I remember when you used to do this. Oh, don't do that because she'll act like that. And you're thinking, no, I'm not. I'm not that person no more. I grew from that. Now, I'm not saying by no means that she grew from anything. Matter of fact, let me show you something. Hold on. Okay, I walked away from the room too soon. So, remember, we was talking about the comments. So, I honestly was going to read some of the comments on camera today. But I go back to her, um, I go back to her video and this is what I see. Comments are disabled. Maybe she should change the title. Comments on. Comments disabled. Kind of conflicting, huh? Some of y'all are going to trip when I say what I'm about to say. I don't blame her. I don't blame her one bit. I don't blame her. I don't blame her. When this girl was on there asking for money, there were people sending her money. When when she was on there, when she put that wish list up there, which is now gone, it looks like, from this one anyway. I don't go through all her channels anymore. She just came up with my recommenders. But when she put that wish list up there and people were willing to send her stuff, I always say she did what works for her. I always said that. She is only doing what works for her. But when people started sending her stuff and it was like, I'm angry, I'm angry. Don't, you don't want to, like, research what you're doing before you do it. You don't want to research. You just want to, you know. It was this video I came across and this guy on this young lady's channel. And she has way more subscribers than Nina. Let me see if I can find the channel. So, this guy goes, they go live on this little girl's channel. She does makeup. Uh, I don't know the condition she has. Sweet little girl. Um, where is this it? I'm going to give you the girl's name. Now, this guy is blatant. And there are people on there that's like, well, no. Because I made a comment on there. And I said, because he said they need help. They And they went live. They did two videos. One video was we got robbed, and the next video was we need help. And he asked for 300 people to give $5. He was like, if 300 people can give us $5, that would be great. So I was like, what in the world? Like, this is blatant. This is like in your face. And the story he gave, I was like, no, this, ain't, this don't make sense. He said that um, they bought a house, and then the lady at the last minute took it back. Yeah. So... I made a comment and I said, I watched the video, we need help, and we got robbed. I think um, this girl is being used by a narcissistic, egotistical opportunist. He said they bought a house, then the lady took it back. To anyone who's had a mortgage, like myself, um, knows that this is a lie. There's a process in buying a house, and it involves attorneys and legal documents. Um... He spoke of his money, his shoes, his expense of this, his expense of that. Where in, I said, where is, I, oh, where is this young lady's family? She needs to get away from him. So somebody commented, he clearly meant they rented a house. So I responded back, okay. So if he rented a house, there is a lease that once his sign is binding in court. So rent or abort, the story sounds shady. This is the first time I've ever commented on somebody video and I did feel that this guy was using her platform to scam she has 536 subscribers makeup 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 artist Gordon Gordon 66 Gorda 66 is her name beautiful young lady just 
I don't know how she got hold of this dude or where she got hold of this dude from, but I was like, whoa. And he did most of the talking. I'm going to show you the snippet of their live. And that's him back there. So, yeah, I did speak. And I, I said something in that live because I was like, he's using this little girl. He's using her. And God forbid he has access to her accounts. But let me get back to what I'm saying. People are going to have to learn. You're going to have to listen and pay attention. You know that old saying that says, when people show you who they are, believe them? That's true. But nowhere in that message does it say, is, stand there and tell them who they are. It doesn't mean for you to stand there and say, I see you. I know who you are. I know what you're doing. I see you. I saw that. I saw that. I know what you did. I know what you're doing. I know. That's not what that message means. It means adjust yourself accordingly. If you know somebody's willing to scam, then why be scammed? If you know somebody's willing to rob you, then why put them in your space or your place so you can be robbed? Adjust your stuff accordingly. If I know somebody is lying about this, that, and the other, or every time they open their mouth, you have to use a filter because every other word is going to be a lie, then why am I going to believe them without fact-checking? So, she disabled her comments because it, it went a little wrong. Back to Nina. It went a little wrong. So, she disabled her comments. Y'all, so we have to learn to let it go. Because some people are just like what I said earlier. You could tell them, hey, don't go down that road. It's, don't, don't go down there. They ain't doing construction and... Girl, they didn't tore up the road and it's not no good. It's going to mess up your car. You got a nice car. Don't go down there. Or, I know him very well. You shouldn't date him. That's not going to turn out good for you. You shouldn't date him. I know him. I know him for a really long time. I know where he's at. You shouldn't date him. Then the girl go date him and she's in this situation where he's constantly cheating on her, lying to her, using her taking advantage of her, and she's crying to you. And you're looking at her like, I told you not to date him. Like, what you want from me? Or the girl go head down the road where the construction site is, and they tell you, I got to spend $1,600 on my axle because I told you don't go down there. Listen, you can't continue to tell people not to do stuff, especially when they're going to do it anyway. I get to the point now when people say, well, you know, I, 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 I did, I, I, I know I did, you told me not to do this, and I did it. Well, you know, you did it because you needed to see. That's my way of saying, told you. You, you did it, you did what you needed to do for you. You needed to see that. That's my way of saying, I told you so. Y'all, I'm going to eat. This is day two of Vlogmas, I'm going to end this here. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye, guys.